Hey y'all, coming to you from the international headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2020 Atlantic City Auto Auction and Car Show, and uh, you know there's never enough time to shoot all the cool there, so what I have to do is just walk around and shoot little bits and bits of clips of stuff that I think is cool and that you'd want to see, and uh, so that's what we got going on in this video, just a general walk around of some of the cool stuff that I wasn't able to shoot a feature on. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. You know I had to start out with a second generation Camaro, I love them. And they had several cool ones here at the uh, 2020 Atlantic City Auto Auction and Car Show. And cool is cool and you know, seeing a Bugatti is always cool. So my buddy Vinny I met up there, he's got, uh, he's got a shop up there, built some cool cars. Most amazing thing is this orange, bronze car down here at the end, I think it's a Ford. It's a 15-year-old build, and man, it still looks really good, but even on top of that, it's got a Holcomb interior in it. I went all the way to Atlantic City, and there it was, uh, Steve Holcomb interior that was 15 years old. I mean, Steve and the boys have been rocking it for a long time, and they are absolutely everywhere. A little square body jacked up with a blower on it. I thought y'all would like it, because there is just a variety, a variety, a variety. Everything, anything, from motorcycles, to pickup trucks, to exotic sports cars, to boats, to you name it. It's at the Atlantic City Auto Auction and Car Show. I really dig the pattern of the real rear wheels on that truck. They were kind of like chain links. Very cool. Good looking Corvette. Big blown motor. And I love this. This, this bus supposedly was Ray Kroc of McDonald's bus. He used to travel around and train, or train managers. And I guess he didn't want to fly, so he would just drive from McDonald's to McDonald's in this bus. And I didn't get inside of it, but they showed pictures of it. It had big golden arches on the mirrors on the inside. I think Scotty DTV needs that. See, there you go. A cool old truck sitting next to a racing boat. And I had to shoot the Buick, you know. They don't get enough love. The GTOs, the Chevelles, tons of them, but you just don't see many Buicks. And just check out the variety in this line of cars. You got cars from the 50s, the 70s, the 80s. You got Americans. You got imports. You know, you got a little bit of everything. And it's New Jersey, so when you get uh, when you get hungry, oh yeah, there you go, right? Can never pass shooting a typhoon either. I love them. Um, yeah, so when you get hungry, slip outside and go to some, one of the many awesome Italian restaurants are up there. Man, I had some good Italian food while I was in town. Ford GT, another car that will always be cool. And you know, we're just kicking it, just walking around, checking out, just kind of give you an idea of how big this vent is and, you know, what you can expect to see. And I, I couldn't pass on a row of four beautiful classic Mustangs sitting there. Even a GT350 finished to a very high level. Look at that. Thought that was cool. That's one of them cars that made me smile. Gaster style. And the Atlantic City Auto Auction and Car Show has been going on for 47 years. So obviously they're doing some things right up there. And then this year they decided to add two car shows to it. The Deuce's Wild Car Show and the Joker's Wild Car Show. Some old historic Ford Mercury's here. How cool is that? Race cars, street cars, you name it. They got everything up there. Some of it's for sale, some of it's not, some of it gets auctioned off, some of it's just, you know, kind of make a deal here thing where it doesn't go across the block. And you just never know what you're going to find. I'm a big fan of neon. Look at that neon in the back. It's a cool backdrop to that crazy Corvette with a hole in the hood big old blower above the roof and then this is another section where they brought in a bunch of cool cars to be displayed and the no years you know I mean it's not like you know pre-72 or any of that kind of yabbity yab it's you know if it's cool and you apply it and it gets accepted then voila you can bring it into the Atlantic City Convention Center and display it and the crowds were, man, Friday and Saturday, the crowds were just huge. 
And you got to know that you're looking around going, I don't see all the people, Scotty. I, I work hard to shoot this stuff when there's not a lot of people. Because otherwise, it's nuts and butts. That's all we would see. People would be walking in front of you, and you just wouldn't get any clear shots. So I work hard to get in there early in the morning, stay late at night, catch times when there's just not a bunch of people around so that we can get some clear shots of a lot of the cool that, that shows up at these shows. Look at that real deal, 442. Red inner fenders, right? That's the cool thing. You see those red inner fenders, you know that's special. Of course, my first car was a 79 Trans Am, and I thought that one was absolutely beautiful. And there again, you know, we'll just take a walk down this row of cars so you can get an idea. I mean, you got Roadrunners, you got Buicks, you got Camaros, you got, you got. You know, it doesn't matter what brand you like, doesn't matter what generation you're from, doesn't matter what style you're, you're, you're digging. It'll all be at the Atlantic City Auto Auction and Car Show. A couple old birds sitting there. Really nice car, so, you know, make sure that you bring your checkbook. Because I bet there'll be something you're going to want to buy when you get there. Even if it's not one of these cars, they've got a lot of cool stuff that the vendors are selling. Like I said, I could have, uh, I don't know how much I would have spent at that neon light display if I would have had it. And this is a very cool car. Historic race car, obviously. You can see, you know, it's from back in the day. But in a second here, we're going to get around to the uh, trunk. And then you have a bunch of iconic drag racers and people in the, in the racing sport that have autographed it. Which I thought was cool. Because it's more than just the car, right? It's got the history on the deck lid of it. NHRA record holder. And then, like I said, cool is cool. And I'm a big McLaren fan. I love those Porsches. Can't remember, they're nine somethings, obviously, but man, I dig those Porsches. Really high dollar expensive. You don't ever see them, but man, they had a couple of them there. They were cool. Another Porsche. Got a couple Ferraris down here at the end, and that Ferrari right there, that one with the red and the black, that black is all carbon fiber. Just absolutely gorgeous car. A lot of cool stuff at the Atlantic City Auto Auction and Car Show. And of course, Deuce's Wild Car Show, Joker's Wild Car Show. If you're in the area in Atlantic City in February, this is the place to be, no doubt. You're gonna have a good time, you're gonna see some cool stuff, check out some cool cars. And at the end of the day, it's an auction. So that's what it's all about. Sold. See ya. Hey, y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.